everyone, how are you? It's Miss Victoria back again. Um, I'm here to do another lesson with you, are you ready? We're gonna be doing um, some more letters and working on our alphabet again, okay? So we'll get started. Do you remember yesterday, if you watched yesterday's lesson, we started reading this book, A is for Apple, and we got halfway through, so we're gonna finish the rest of that book today, okay? And I want you to trace along with me, and you can either do it with your finger, or if your grown-ups want to get you a pen and paper, or a pencil and paper, a crayon and paper, you can write your letters along with me, okay? Um, also, another idea, if you want to have your grown-up, if they say it's okay, you can go in your kitchen and get a tray and a little bit of salt, just a little bit, and you can trace your letters in the salt like we do at school, okay? Whatever your grown-ups would prefer for you today, okay? But if you don't have a pen or a paper, you don't have a pen or a paper and you just want to trace along with Miss Victoria, you can do that too, just with your finger, okay? Okay, so we started with this book. We're gonna look at our letters again. I want you to shout them out if you notice what they are. And then we're gonna continue and practice writing them, okay? So we have A at the beginning. A is for apple, right? We have A and B. Do you remember this one? C, D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Oh, that's where we stopped yesterday, do you remember? K. Let's practice writing K again, because that's our letter of the week. We're gonna come down, straight line, kick up and back down. Can you do that with your finger? K, so down, up, and kick down, good job friends. K, and then we move on to L. L is for lion, can you roar like a lion? Oh, oh you scared me, can you do that again? Roar like a lion, ah! L is for lion, nice job. Then we go to M, M. M is for moon, mama moon. Can we make an M? Come down, down, up and down. So we go down, down, up and down. Nice job, friends. N, N is for nest. We were looking at that letter as well, right? Birds nest, nest. N is for nest. Then, oh, do you know this one? I know a lot of you know this one, right? Did you guess? Oh, that's right. Oh, big circle. Do you see the circle shape? O. What is O for? We learn about these in our lessons on our ocean animals, right? What is that? An octopus. O is for octopus. And how many legs does an octopus have? Did you guess? Eight. That's right. Eight arms. P. P is for pig. What does a pig say? That's right. Oink, oink. Let's make a P. Ready? Come down and around. Can you do that with your finger? Straight down and around for our P. Nice job, friends. Oh, this is a tricky one. That looks like an O, right? But it has a little line through it, so that makes it a Q. Can you all say Q? Q is for queen. Do you see she's wearing a crown on her head? Q. And then we have R. R rabbit. That's right. Let's make an R. Are you ready? Come down, around, kick down. Good job. Down, around, kick down. Nice job, friend. Oh, do you know this one? I think a lot of you know this one, right? What is it? S. That's right. S. Can you make a sound? S for what is that? The sun. Good job. S is for sun. And can you think of anything else beginning with S? What makes a sound? Snake, that's right. Do you know what this is? T, let's make a T straight down and across. T is for tree and turtle. Can you think of any other t, -t, -t words? T. Then we have U, right? Do you see this? Whoop. U is for umbrella. Let's make a U with our finger, down, around, and up. Good job, friends. Down, around, and up. 
and then right next to it is a letter V. V is for Victoria, right? Miss Victoria's name begins with the letter V. And violin, let's make a V straight down and up. Can you do that? Make sure there's a point at the bottom. It's different than the U, right? You see the curve of the U? And then the V has a pointy bottom, V. Then we have W. So if you put two Vs together, it makes a W. What is W for? What is this? W watch. That's right. Watch. And whale begins with the letter W. Let's make a W. Down, up, down, up. That's fun to make, right? Can you do that on your paper or in the sky? Down, up, down, up. Very good. Okay, I think a lot of you know this letter. What is this one? Did you guess? X. That's right. X. X is a tricky one, so sometimes it sounds a little bit different. X is for xylophone and x-ray. And we looked at an x-ray fish, right, when we learned about ocean animals. Can you make an X with me? Down and across. That's right. What's next? X. Y. That's right. Y. Y is for yo-yo. Let's make a Y. Are you ready, friends? Straight down straight down, and then all the way down. Can you do that? Down, down, all the way down. Good job. And then last but not the least, we have Z. That's the last letter of the alphabet. And Z is for zebra and zoo. Do you like to go to the zoo? Miss Victoria does. Can we make a Z with our finger? Are you ready? Let's go across, across, and down like that. Ready? Across down and across. Can you try it one more time with your finger? Across, down, across. Nice job, you did all the letters in the alphabet. Wow. Okay, so we finished that book, okay? So now I'm going to look at some of your names and we're gonna write them. And you can either practice writing our friends' names or you can have your grown-ups um, make your name with little dots and you can trace your name, okay? And I want you to try, if you're tracing, try and stay right on the lines, okay? So you follow along with the dotted lines if your grown-ups did that for you. Otherwise, you can look at what Miss Victoria is doing and you can try and copy down on your paper the same, okay? Will you try that with me? And even if you just do the first letter, that's okay. Okay, so today's names we're going to look at is our friend Noah. Now, some of you have gotten very good at finding your friend's names, right? And giving them to them. Okay, so if we think about Noah, what do we think his name starts with? Do you remember? N, N. Did you guess? N, N for Noah, that's right. So Noah's name starts with the letter N. So we're gonna come straight down, down and up. N, that was one of our letters of the week. That's right, N. And then it's a O. So we're going to make a nice round O. O. So that actually says no, but we don't want to write that word no. We want to write Noah. So then we're going to do an A and an H. And Miss Victoria is using capital letters. I'm using the big letters. And sometimes we write with lowercase, our little letters, but Miss Victoria just did big letters. So we have N-O-A-H for Noah. Do you think you can write those? See if you can write that for me. N-O-A-H. Very good, friends. Okay, the next name we're going to write is Greta. What do you think Greta starts with? Hmm, G, G, G. What makes a G sound? G, that's right, G for Greta. So we're gonna make a big G so we come around and across for our G, G. And then Miss Greta has an R in her name. R, that's right, G, R. And then we're gonna make an E come down and we do one line on the top, one line in the middle and one at the bottom for our E. G R E. Then there's a t t t t G R E T. And then to finish off, she has an A in her name, Greta. G 
Greta. That's right. So we have Noah and Greta. And who else's name shall we do today? Let's do Melody's name. M Melody. What do you think Melody starts with? M M the same as Mommy. Mommy and Melody start with the letter M. M. So do you remember how to do our M? We're going to come down, down, up, down, M. And then we're going to make an E melody. And then she has an L in her name. An O. Have you noticed Melody's name is a little bit longer than some other of her friends' names, right? Mel O. And then she has a D. D. And a Y. Melody. Do you see that? Nice job, friend. So we have N. N is for Noah. G is for Greta. And M for Melody. And some of our friends have four letters in their name, like Noah. Let's count Greta. How many letters does Greta have in her name? One, two, three, four, five. Can you show me five fingers? That's right, five for Greta. What about Melody? Let's count Melody's name. One, two, three, four, five, six. She has six letters in her name. Do you think you can count all the letters in your name? See if you can do that with your grown-ups and tell me how many letters are in your name. Victoria. Miss Victoria has a lot of letters in my name. My name's pretty long. Okay. I hope that was fun for you today. Will you come back and join me another day? Yeah. And I'm going to have some different names for us tomorrow. So maybe you'll hear your name if you didn't today. Okay. Hope you're being good for all your, um, your mummies and your daddies and whoever's in your house. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.